Hi children, welcome back to the lesson, new lesson that is air, water and weather. Air, water and weather. So this is the 12th chapter in your textbook. In previous session we discussed about the moon and the, uh, about the eclipse etc in that lesson. Now in this lesson we are going to discuss about the air, water and weather and we know that uh, this air we know very well about the words air, water and weather here we will discuss some more whatever you know some more a little we are going to learn about air, water and weather Achha, batao, aapko air matlab kya hai? what do you mean by air क्या बताया आपको एयर बोले तो राइट सो एयर इज द गैसियस थिंग एयर इज द गैसियस थिंग एयर इज द गैसियस थिंग दैट प्रेजेंट अराउंड अस सो एयर इज द गैसियस थिंग दैट प्रेजेंट अराउंड अस दैट प्रेजेंट अराउंड अस इट इज प्रेजेंट अराउंड us so air is the thing that is present around us and it is gaseous form we can feel it but we unable to catch it we unable to cut it because it is gaseous form whereas we know very well about the water what is water water is a liquid thing water is a liquid thing air is a gaseous thing and water is a liquid thing that is present around us Okay, have you understood? Here, air is the gaseous thing and water is the liquid thing. Water is liquid thing. So, this gaseous thing and liquid thing both together forms the weather. They could able to form weather. So, let us uh, discuss some more about the air, water and weather. Here, it is very clear that air, if anybody asks you, what is air then you should answer the air is the mixture of gases air is the mixture of sorry air is the mixture of gases air is always a mixture of gases what is air air is the mixture of gases air is the mixture of gases means the different gases different gases they mix together and finally they form the product called air so for example we know that oxygen carbon dioxide oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen nitrogen different gases are there these gases they combine together and they forms the air they form air so it is called as mixture of gases air is a mixture of gases remember so always uh, whatever the air that we are breathing it contain all this mixture of gases not only oxygen that we are breathing it contain all gases together so air is the mixture of gases always you may remember air is the mixture of gases and here this layer of air this layer of air that is present around the earth mixture of, mixture of, sorry a layer of air that is present around the earth that is present around the earth the layer of gases we said uh, air is a mixture of gases so this air it surrounds the earth like a blanket it surrounds the earth like a blanket so here the blanket of air that is present around the earth around the earth is what we called atmosphere it is called atmosphere we call it as atmosphere so atmosphere is the blankets of air that is present around the earth around the earth there is a blanket of air and we call it as atmosphere we are calling it as atmosphere so atmosphere 
atmosphere is the thing which is made up of a it is made up of a so this atmosphere this atmosphere it contain different gases air water vapor etc and you already know that air is necessary for our life we know that air is necessary for life <coughs> imagine if there is no air if there is no atmosphere on the moon there is no atmosphere when there is no atmosphere on the moon so the life is not possible on the moon whereas on the earth there is a full blanket of atmosphere the gas is present around the earth so that atmosphere is present due to presence of atmosphere many living things are can be seen on the planet so uh, this earth is the only planet with the atmosphere due to presence of atmosphere atmosphere the possibility of life is good in case of earth right i hope you understood what is air actually air is a mixture of gases air is a mixture of gases and this mixture of gases air is present around the earth because earth have a gravity and it is pulling the atmosphere towards it sorry pulling the air towards it so whatever the blanket of air that is present around the earth is called as atmosphere we call it as atmosphere okay so here from the earth surface imagine from the earth surface if you want to go up into the sky from the it is earth surface it is earth surface so if you go above from the earth surface if you go above from the earth surface then you could able to see different layer, layers on the atmosphere right so here it is the beautiful atmosphere that is present around the earth surface here atmosphere it is present around the earth like a blanket and it covers the earth surface and it protects the gases actually it is filled with the gases air and moisture and it looks like the onion peel because it have several layers the atmosphere it contains several layers so that we can call the atmosphere uh, you can compare with the onion layers right uh, so many layers are present around the atmosphere and this atmosphere it contain many gases these atmospheric gases they trap the heat sun heat which are reflected back if there is no atmosphere then the earth will be like boiling in the day time and it become icy cold during night time but luckily we have atmospheric gases around the earth which are protecting our earth from the uh, bad weather conditions so here this atmosphere make possibility of life let us see different layers of atmosphere it starts from the stratosphere from the above of the earth surface 10 km there is troposphere in 10 km it is troposphere and after troposphere we could able to see the stratosphere for the 50 kilometers after stratosphere the next one is the uh, nothing but mesosphere after mesosphere we could able to see the thermosphere we could able to see the thermosphere and after thermosphere the final fifth one is the exosphere so troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere these are the layers of atmosphere and in the troposphere we could able to see the clouds mountains and flights also go in this troposphere after troposphere there is stratosphere where the jet flights etc they fly in between the troposphere and uh, uh, stratosphere there is a ozone layer uh, which is protecting us from the harmful sun rays to fall on the body and uh, this ozone layer it protects our body from the harmful rays uv rays and etc they are very harmful and uh, mesosphere can be seen uh, the stars and asteroids can be available in the mesosphere and the uh, satellites can be ro roam in the thermosphere and the exosphere it is out of the earth's layer